Hi, welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk with me, Pete Turner, for another one of my seasonal roundups of all of the supermarkets and wine retailers in the UK in the summer going into the autumn of 2024. In this vid, I am delighted to say I am at Majestic. Love reviewing Majestic's wines. The staff in the shop are really knowledgeable and the buyers um, because they only buy wine and buy spirits and drinks they really really know what they're doing they build great relationships with their producers and they they find fabulous wines at great prices so don't think that because Majestic is a wine warehouse that all the wines are really expensive they're not none of the wines in this vid and none of the wines in any of my seasonal vids are above 10 pounds so um, be amazed at what you can get for under 10 quid so here we go two reds two whites a rosé and a fizz as always and we're starting off uh, with la petite buisse it's a pinot noir it's called vin de france so it means that the grapes can come from anywhere in france but buisse vineyard is in uh, the loire in france this is 7.99 and 13 and a half percent which is i'd say on the high side for pinot noir but what do you get well, you get a lovely um, earthy red currant and raspberry nose to it, but there is something behind it. There's something really beautifully sort of like a sh newly sharpened pencil. Do people still sharpen pencils? I do. It's like a newly sharpened pencil. Pencil, lead and wood. Mmm. And it's really primary fruit, but none the worse for it. It's lovely and bright and vibrant in fruit. There's a little bit of structure to it because it clearly is at 13 and a half percent a little riper the fruit's a little riper so it's got some good tannic structure to it but not intrusive in any any way at all it's a lovely and well made and really easy drinking red wine that's a sort of red wine for people who don't like red wine and you could potentially chill that and that would still go quite well so 7.99 is a very very good start to this little range okay so this is the chosen by i love this new range from majestic chosen by majestic um, they've gone out and found wines with real typicity right across the world. This is their Chilean Merlot. Comes from the Colchagua Valley in Chile. It's 7.99 and 14.5%. So it's a little bit of a, a big boy of a wine. And it's got a really opulent nose. It's really quite jammy. Black currant, black currant leaf. Is there something spicy and herbal behind it? Maybe curry leaf in there? maybe even something slightly medicinal in there it's a really lovely nose intriguing and big and bold mm. and it's velvety and soft and big and quite powerful that 14 and a half percent as you breathe out you do get a little warming alcohol sensation to it and then that brings in some kind of um, peppery spice and i'm thinking yeah sort of cedar and black pepper and it works really, really well with the fruit because the fruit is still big. So it's everything in this is dialed up to 11 and I like it. It's a super, super wine at 7 99 proper big old barbecue wine, possibly a winter wine rather than a summer wine. But nonetheless, I think that's a cracker at 7 99 Lots and lots of wine for the money. Okay, so this is one where I'm going to have trouble pronouncing something. This is 8 99 This is the Wolf Trap. Uh, Grenache Blanc, it comes from the Western Cape in South Africa, and it comes from Boerkenhutskloof. Boerkenhutskloof, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, that's the winemaker. Um, but if you're familiar with a red wine called the Chocolate Block, that winemaker, Boerkenhutskloof, they make that wine. So this is Grenache Blanc, and what do you get? It's beautifully lemon and lime. There's something else behind it, maybe some peach, tinned peaches there. Mm. and it's velvety and easy drinking and lovely big fruit that fruit isn't very tropical but it does it is persistent so it is peachy and and citrus but it's soft and velvety and it coats the mouth it's really really well made it's got good body to it it's 8.99 and that is a super super wine for the money so it's 12 and a half percent and I, I think it's worth every penny. I think it looks great. It tastes great. What a super wine. So there you go. Now, next up, this is Cote de Rhone Blanc. This is, forgive me, Gerard, uh, Gabriel Allard. Gabriel Allard. Should have remembered that. It's 8 99 Cote de Rhone Blanc. 
So it's made out of a blend of five different white Cote de Rhone grapes. Cote de Rhone white uh, blanc is about 10% of the entire Cote de, Cote, Cote de Rhone production. But none the worse for it. Oh, what, a, what a lovely nose. It's got, it's got, uh, I want to say almost like desiccated coconut on the nose. And then there's some honey and beeswax. And it's a little bit floor varnishy, like floor polish but in the best possible way. But there's that fruit behind it. There's lemon. Mmm. Yeah. Honey and honeysuckle and lemon and melon. And it's really big and lovely. It's a beautiful, beautiful wine. Lots and lots of expression in there. So, so it just goes on and on. But that lovely honey waxy note is, is all the way through it. I think that looks great. I think it's classy. Gabriel Allard, Cote de Rhone Blanc, 8.99. Uh, it is 13.5%. So um, uh, again, a bit ch chunky for a, for a white wine, but certainly none the worse for it. It's beautiful wine. Everything really integrated in that. Okay, another one at 13.5% for a rosé. That Again, that is quite pokey for a rosé. This is Leon Perdigal. Uh, Cote de Rhone, we're staying with the Cote de Rhone Rosé, so it's a blend of Syrah, Grenache and Mouverdre. Eight ninety nine, and what do you get here? Oh, it's really lovely, I want to say unripe raspberry and red currant. And there's something behind it, and I, again it's sort of almost that, that slightly waxy kind of resiny floor polish, but it's beautiful. Mmm. Mm. but it much more fruity in the mouth so that red currant is joined by some strawberry it's lovely and sophisticated and elegant and a bit of a yeah a bit of a grown-up rosé at 13 and a half percent Cote de Rhone Leon Perdigal rosé beautiful stuff 8.99 worth every penny and lastly and I love the look of this bottle I think this is really sophisticated looking this is chosen by Majestic Treviso Prosecco, it's eight ninety nine, and it's ten and a half percent, which I like in a Prosecco. And it's a really lovely, soft almond blossom and peach nose. And almond, yeah, it's really kind of a little nutty nose. The bubbles aren't aggressive. It's soft. It's mouth-wateringly bright with acidity it's fresh that nuttiness is there the peach is there it's still very very subtle and I think it would make a really good base for a cocktail so you could turn that into a Bellini and and that would work really really well but on its own it's elegant and light and delicious and fresh and frankly everything Prosecco should be if chosen by is anything to go by they're across the range, really, really good. But that chosen by Prosecco is an absolute tip-top buy. So there you go. It's my six picks from Majestic for this season. Do uh, check them out. Oh, remember, the prices I've listed are the mix six prices. So when you go into Majestic, you get two prices. You get a single bottle price and then the mix six price. The mix six price gives you a little discount, but you do have to buy six bottles of wine but it's worth it, they're worth every penny. Then all, all expensive stuff, they're really affordable, really drinkable, really approachable wines, and the staff there are really approachable too, which is kind of more important. So there, get yourself down to Majestic and enjoy your wine this summer. Let me know what you're drinking. Check us out on TikTok, and we're also on Instagram, search at Drinkersite, and enjoy your summer wine. Cheers. <laughs>